Hi everybody, I'm Sankore Rodrigues Alves. I'm one of the authors of the paper Graph Sandwich Problem for the Property of Being Well Covered and Partitionable into K Independent Sets and L Clicks. This is a joint work with Fernanda Couto, Web Faria, Silvan Gravier, Sulamita Klein, and Weberton Souza. In order to guide you for a better comprehension of this presentation, I must define some basic concepts. The first of them is the well-covered graph definition. Let G be a graph. G is well-covered if and only if each maximal independent set has the same cardinality, or equivalently, each maximal independent set is maximal. Remember that the minimal vertex cover problem is the dual problem of the maximal independent set problem. So we can also say that G is well covered if and only if each minimal vertex cover has the same cardinality, or equivalently, each minimal vertex cover is minimal. Look at this graph. In this graph, each maximal independent set has size 2. So we conclude that this graph is a well covered graph. In the second graph, you have a maximal independent set of size 1 and another one of size 2. So we conclude that G is not a well covered graph. Graph. A motivation for studying well covered graphs is that the problems involving independent sets are hard. According to CARP 1972, to determine the independence number of a graph is NP hard. However, if G is well covered, there is a greedy algorithm that obtains the size of the largest independent set in polynomial time. Posit as a decision problem, the well-covered graph WCG consists in a stance, a graph G, and the question is if G is a well-covered graph or not. The decision problem well-covered graph is co-NP complete. This is a simultaneous result of Shivato and Slate and Sankara Narayana and Stewart in 1992. However, the problem is polynomial to some graph classes as bipartites, planar and triconnected, simplicial chordal and circular arc, graphs which not contain cycles of size 3, 5, or 7, graphs which not contain cycles of size 4 or 5, cloud free graphs, co graphs, and P4 sparse. The problem is hard, remains hard, to certain graph classes as dominant cycle, Hamiltonian cycles, Hamiltonian path, click partition, dominant set, cubic and planar graphs. Another important definition is the concept of KL graph partition. A graph is called a KL graph if it admits a partition into K independent sets and L clicks. Observe the graph. It admits a partition into one click and one independent set. The other graph admits a partition into two clicks. An important observation is that the partition is not unique. The second graph also admits a partition into two independent sets and two clicks. So, the, we say that the first graph is a one-on graph, while the second graph is a zero-two graph or a two-two graph. Place that is the decision problem. KL graph KLG consists in a stance a graph G, and the question is if G is a KL graph or not. The problem was proposed by Brandstadt in 1996, who proved that the problem is NP is the problem is polynomial if K and L is less or equal to two, and then NP complete otherwise. However, the problem is polynomial to certain graph classes, chordals, co-graphs, perfect, and P4 sparses. The KL well-covered graph decision problem, 
KLWCG was introduced in 2018 and consists of an stance, a graph G, and the question is whether G is a KL graph and well covered simultaneously. The complexity table of the decision problem is shown below. In this table, we note that there was already a result for the case 20WCG, the bipartite well covered graft, which was solved by J. Havindra in 1977. The sandwich problem for a property P was proposed by Golombi Kaplan-Shamir in 1995. The problem consists in a stance, two graphs, G1 and G2, where G2 is a supergraph of G1, that is, G2 contains all the edges of G1 in addition to some optional edges. The question is, if there exists a graph G as an output, which contains all the edges of G1, and some necessary edges of G2 minus G1 in order to obtain G with a proper P. In order to illustrate the problem, we will represent an instance of the sandwich problem where the proper P is a split graph. We note that there are three types of the edges. The forbidden edges in, in red, which do not belong to the solution if there exists a solution, the mandatory edges in black, which must belong to the solution if there exists a solution, and the optional edges in blue, which can be used in order to obtain a split graph. To solve the problem, we initially remove the red edges, once they cannot participate in the solution of the problem. Only the blue edges and the black edges remain. We remove as many blue edges as possible and obtain a split graph. An important observation is that such solution is not unique. This graph is also a solution for the problem. Here are some results in the literature. Threshold split and co-graphs are polynomial. Comparability, permutation, interval, and chordal graphs are NP complete. If the recognition problem for a proper pi is NP complete, then the related sandwich problem is NP complete either. Using this fact, and the fact that the recognition of some KL well covered graph cases are difficult, KL WCG are difficult. We have completed all the red spaces in the table, leaving us to study only the blank spaces. The following two trivial facts solve the sandwich problem for the sandwich problem 1 0 well covered graph and the sandwich problem for 0 1 well covered graph. Fact 1 There exists a sandwich graph 1 0 WCG of an instance G1 and G2 if and only if. G1 is a new graph. We note that the graph is a 1, 0 well covered graph if and only if it's a graph without edges, that is, a new graph. So, the only way to have a sandwich graph is that G2 contains only optional edges, which will be discarded in the solution of the problem. Fact 2. There exists a sandwich graph 01WCG of an instance G1 and G2 if and only if G2 is a complete graph. We note that a graph is a 01 well covered graph if and only if it's a clique that is a complete graph. Therefore, G2 must be a complete graph if G2 is the output of the problem either. Using these two facts, we can, we can fill two spaces in the complex table of the sandwich problem KL well covered graph. Before we study the sandwich problem for 0 2 well covered graph, we must provide the structural characterization of a 0 2 well covered graph. A graph G is a 0 2 well covered graph if and only if G is a 0 2 graph and or G is a complete graph, or G has no universal vertex. Look at the graph of the example. 
It admits a zero to partition into two, into two clicks and has a new universal vertex. We, we note that there exists a maximum independent set of size 1 and another one of size 2. And then we conclude that G is not a well covered graph. In the second graph, we have a zero to partition and no universal vertex. We note that each maximum independent set has size 2. And then we conclude that G is a zero to well covered graph. This is the algorithm which solves the sandwich problem for zero to well covered graph. We will provide the execution of the algorithm in steps for a better comprehension. Remember that the sandwich problem for zero to WCG consists in giving two graphs G1 and G2, where G2 is a supergraph of G1. We want to find a graph G, if there exists, that contains all the edges of G1 and initially as much edges of G2 as necessary in order to obtain a graph G which admit, admits a zero to partition and it's well covered simultaneously. Let's consider the instance. The algorithm starts by checking if the instance admits a zero to partition. If not, the algorithm returns no. In this example, the graph does not support one zero to partition, but one zero three partition. The answer is no. In the second example, we observe that the stance admits a zero to partition. So then, the algorithm will check if G2 is a complete. If positive, it returns yes. In the third example, the algorithm checks whether the stance admits a zero to partition. If positive, it checks if G2 is a complete. If G2 is not a complete, checks if G1 has an universal vertex. If G1 has an universal vertex, the algorithm returns no. In the fourth and last example, we note that the stance admits a zero to partition, that G2 is not a complete graph, and G1 does not have an universal vertex. So, it returns yes, and then we complete one space in the table. A 1-1 one -one graph is well known in the literature as a split graph. Now it's time to the structural characterization of a 1-1 one -one well covered graph. A graph G is a 1-1 one -one well covered graph if and only if there is a 1-1 one -one partition, that is, a partition into one dependent set and on click, and either each vertex which belongs to the clique is, is adjacent to exactly one vertex of the independent set, or each vertex to which belongs to the clique is adjacent to non vertex of the independent set. In this example, each vertex which belongs to the clique is adjacent to non vertex of the independent set. In the second example, each vertex which belongs to the clique is adjacent to one vertex of the, the, of the independent set. So, both of them are 1-1 one, one well covered graph. The solution for the sandwich problem for 1-1 one, one well covered graph uses the Gollum Kaplan and Chamis solution for sandwich problem for split graphs. We put an additional clause in order to decide if there exists or not a graph sandwich for one one well cover graph in polynomial time. Then we complete one space in the table. The last result is about the sandwich problem for one two well cover graph. We suggest this paper where the structural characterization for one two well cover graph is described. One of the results is Graph sandwich for one two well covered graph is NEP complete. The proof of this is found in our paper in details. As a future work, the sandwich problem for two zero well covered graph remains open. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you. Obrigado.